jazzing up your day with a touch of soul. The Living Room on 938 Live. Welcome into The Living Room on 938 Live and as part of Singapore Art Week, Art in Motion is back with its second edition. It starts from the 16th of January to the 25th. It's presented by Art Galleries Association Singapore and AIM 2015 will feature new exhibitions, curated talks and gallery tours by 18 leading contemporary galleries at our local arts areas. For example, Raffles Hotel Arcade, Tanjong Paga District Park, Old Hill Street Police Station and Gilman Barracks. So joining us today are Tiffany Wood Aunt, Program Lead of Art in Motion and Vera Ong, the President of the Art Galleries Association. She's also the owner of Art 2 Gallery, by the way. So, lovely ladies, thanks so much Hi. for joining us Hi. today. Is it a bit, wee bit early? No, Not. it's a perfect time. It's well, a wee bit early for me, busy. but... okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's busy time for you guys and loads of art things going on in Singapore. It's a fun time for an art fan. But first up, we need to know... Uh, Art in Motion is what it's called. It's in its second edition. So Vera, tell us uh, motion meaning... I don't Moving know, more, 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 oh, being you, accessible to go, go around ah, the, okay. the galleries. I thought so. maybe more mo- motion p- pieces, performance, <laughs> art. And no, 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 no. Okay, no, okay. It's just that. Well, Art in Motion is an event organized by our Art Galleries Association Singapore. This is our second year running. And similar to last year, we have this event as part of Singapore Art Week. Okay. Which is going to be an exciting week from 16th to 25th of January for the arts community in Singapore. There will be lots of events, activities and sites to take in during this week. And uh, Art in Motion is a ground-up initiative that celebrates the depth and diversity of contemporary arts and culture in Singapore in a very accessible manner. Accessible because visitors can gallery hop on our organised bus routes from one event to another. And then that makes visiting our galleries a breeze. Yeah, it's yeah. much easier than sort mm-hmm. of trying to traipse there by yourself, I imagine. Absolutely. What yes. can we look out for, Tiffany? Um, the galleries, um, the 18 galleries that are participating, have put together amazing exhibitions um, of artists you know, from the region, from the Southeast Asian region, the Singaporean artists, and also international artists. Um, one of the highlights, a few of the highlights, there are many highlights, um, everyone's done an amazing job, and it's great to be able to see this sort of concentrated collection of openings, talks, and tours over a few days. So um, one is, uh, highlight is the Arndt, exhibition of utopian pictures for Gilbert and George. Um, Gilbert and George are celebrated London-based artists. They will be visiting Singapore for the first time, so that's very exciting. They're here for the week. They're They're very busy. Yeah. So that's an amazing exhibition. We have... um, uh, the Singapore Tyler Print Institute, which we refer to as STPI, and they have a wonderful exhibition um, uh, called Imprint by um, Suzanne um, Victor, and um, there's another. There's so many. I mean, there's 18 galleries. All the details and all the um, uh, details, timings for openings and talk details are all on the website, the AGAS, the Art Galleries Association website, which is agas.org.sg. That was the thing I was going to ask. There's so much stuff. How's a person going to navigate? Would you suggest perhaps curate a tour for us, so to speak? If you were to, well, what are some of the think, don't misses? Well, I mean, Vera can speak to it as well. But I think the best thing, I mean, if you're really, listen, you can be an experienced art collector or just somebody that really wants to learn about, you know, the art scene in Singapore, which is v- vibrant and growing tremendously, um, is to get hold of the program. The program is on the website. And so that really gives you a clear idea of what's happening and when. Obviously, the um, Art in Motion is set around the other events that are happening in Singapore. Um, the major art fair, Art Stage Singapore, opens on Wednesday. So um, the concentrated part of it, it starts, as you said, on Friday the 16th, and it runs through to Sunday the 25th. But um, the concentrated part, I guess, would be from Wednesday Yeah, onwards. that's right. 
Absolutely. Sort of like when festivities mm-hmm. kick yes. off, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Full yeah. swing and Absolutely. All, all cylinders on go. We're chatting with Tiffany Absolutely. Wood, Art Program Lead of Art in Motion. Also, Vera Ong, who's the president of the Art Galleries Association Singapore. More with the ladies in just a bit. Stay with us on The Living Room. The Living Room on 938 Live. Thanks for staying with us on The Living Room on 938 Live. And we're chatting with the ladies in charge of Art in Motion. Back for its second edition starts on Friday all the way to the 25th of January. It's presented by Art Galleries Association Singapore, Agas and AIM 2015 will feature a whole slew of things that you can uh, take part in. With us as well is Program Lead of Art in Motion, Tiffany Wood Arndt. So earlier we were talking about a whole bunch of things. Best to just get the uh, program lineup on the website, which is agas.org.sg. Uh, for you, what are the some of the don't misses, you reckon, Tiffany? Um, I had mentioned the art, um, the art exhibition and STPI. Art um, Plural is another wonderful exhibition of two artists that are, uh, it's a sort of joint exhibition of two artists. Um, Amen Agop, that's um, the Trans Contemporary Exhibition, and also After by Michel Platnik, that's going to be a great show. Sh- uh, Chan Hamper Galleries has two also, they have um, Ruben Pang and um, Dawn Ning, also that's um they're situated in raffles there's actually a few cluster events what we call cluster events is just a group of galleries in a particular precinct so in the program it clearly indicates that there's a raffles cluster in the raffles arcade there's a cluster at um Tanjung Hel- Pagad, yes uh, exactly okay, old hill street hella trans i should make that clear that that's actually the hella trans cluster yes, um Pagad, yeah exactly Pagad, yeah. so um so there's uh, people are coordinating their openings and events during that time. So um, there are artist talks um, happening. Some are um, with the artists. Some are with collectors um, on various days. Uh, we have talks at STPI. We have talks. Um, Chan Hamper is holding talks on Sunday with his artists, um, as is Ikan Gallery at Helotrans with Team Lab. That'll be great. Um, Gilbert and George will be doing a uh, conversation, a talk at La Salle, um, the College of Arts. It and sounds really comprehensive. Are you it seeing is. how, because earlier we talked about, you also mentioned how Singapore is really becoming a vibrant scene for arts and so on. And are you seeing people becoming more savvy, people becoming more interested and they really know what they're looking for, they're quite specific and so on? Well, you're right. They're saying that um, Singapore boasts of a diverse and engaging gallery scene. So Art in Motion actually demonstrates our commitment uh, to promote art appreciation in the community and enhance the value and understanding of art and culture in Singapore through visits to galleries, so made so accessible and approachable. You know, we sometimes do meet uh, some general public who still finds visiting a gallery a bit, a bit intimidating, intimidating, intimidating. Oh dear! But uh, that's not true, you know. So, this idea of making a visit to a gallery so available, we feel that in a way it will nurture the interest further in the arts, and they will say, "Hey, visiting a gallery is just as comfortable as going to a retail outlet to shop." <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's something Might we can be all relate more to. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> but, you know, that's true. You have to go in and see what happens. The kinds of programs and exhibitions up. Uh, for viewing, I suppose, as the word may be, for Art in Motion this year, it's really varied. Are you targeting anyone in speci- uh, specifically or is it just no, really, is there I something mean, for everyone? Okay, the newbie, I, the connoisseur? I, think, I just think, you know, uh, I think art has become so accessible and I just, I think you need to offer the sort of variety, variety right. of events because people are coming at it from different levels and different interests and you know it's over a week and you know people still have to sort of to you have to offer different timings you have to offer because you know it is a working week there are a lot of international um, visitors coming into Singapore um, I mean this Singapore Art Week is a serious event in the you know global art calendar um, so a lot of people are coming into town for it so um, we've had to appeal to that end and also the sort of new collector the young collector as 
as well as the experience and the general public, which is really, really important. I'm liking the whole bus uh, aspect of it all, where one can just sort of hop on and hop off, I suppose. A deterrent sometimes is, because once you get to a gallery space, there's a lot of walking involved too. Yeah, (laughs) I mean, I know, I mean, uh, I didn't work on the project last year, but I know that they had... um, uh, the Art and Motion project was more of a tour. This year, we thought just to make it more fluid yes. was to create the courtesy buses to sort of run on a loop. So, um, you know, they're basically a shuttle bus, you know, so everyone and some of the locations like Gilman Barracks, it's it's easier then to get to the other spots, which um, can be a little bit difficult, especially in January if it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> but the timings are great because um, when they arrived at the certain point, the other end, the, the activity will start in the gallery. So it works perfectly. Last right. year, we had a loop that goes go round and round the whole day. So you might miss certain yeah, things. Yeah, you might miss. Depend, you might get there too traffic, early. Or you might right. get there early. But this time, we are more focused. So I believe that it's going to be very exciting. What were some of the challenges you faced putting together something of this magnitude? Mm-hmm. Challenges. Um, well, I mean, there's always <laughs> a coordination. I mean, each gallery has to set their program well in advance. Um, for some galleries, that that th- they're used to that, and for others, it's you know, it's more of a challenge. Um, but you know, I think most of the galleries save or make sure that they can produce their best shows in this week because this is a real highlight week. Um, Let me guess, you're planning 2016 already as we speak. (laughs) (laughs) They work you hard over there. (laughs) Absolutely. No, it's going to be a really exciting week and we really encourage everyone to come out and have a look. It's going to be great. Sounds good to us. Please support Tiffany and Vera. They put in so much work into Art in Motion 2015. It's back for its second edition. Starts Friday to the 25th of January. As Tiffany mentioned, you can go to the website to find out everything there's a map there's all the details of the yes, programs and exhibitions it's e uh, rather a g a s dot o r g dot s g a g a s dot o r g dot s g thank you vera and tiffany for joining us today thank thanks you. so much it's a pleasure jazzing up your day with a touch of soul the living room on 938 live